Welcome, Leo. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks for you, Leo, and see exactly what is going on and what it is that you need to focus on. Okay, um, so let me just pop these over here. Uh, we're using the Enchanted Map, and we are also using the Gilded Tarot. I did change it up. I feel like it. Okay, right. Let's have a look here. So the first card up, we have a listening. Listening, okay. So, Leo, I feel for you like this is about you listening. Okay, sorry, I'm seeing two birds here. There's one up here and there's one down here. Is this about you connecting them with your higher self, potentially? But then with the music notes, it's like the birds are singing, right? It could be about you listening to music. It could be about you listening to the music that's within you. Leo, I feel like because of the position of the elephant here, for some reason he's he's cowering down, I want to say. It's like he's not walking along with pride, like I would expect an elephant to be. The only other thing is that it could very well be that he's leaning down to pick the bird up to unite the bird with the one sitting on his head. That's a possibility. Interesting, Leo. A few messages there. What is this listening about for Leo? Tell me more, please, for Leo. There's something about the third eye, though. I feel like there's some kind of connection with maybe um, your higher self or your guides or something like that that needs to be made. Okay, we've got the two of pentacles just jump out here. Balancing, getting some kind of balance. But again, there's this connection. I feel like there's this connection that needs to be made. Um, maybe this is about you needing to balance your emotions. Um because I'm just noticing, sorry, let me show you. I'm noticing the water at the back here, okay, and that ship sailing in. I feel as though, but also with the rainbow here from these, or actually from his hands connecting here, um, I feel as though there's like the, the ship has, is slowly coming in but it's kind of like there's the solid focus on the pentacles so much that you don't notice the ship coming in behind you it's kind of like missing the boat but from what I can see the ship is yet to arrive sorry too many cards there's just too many cards jumping out all at once yeah, anyway, what else for listening? One card for Leo, please. <laughs> Tell you what, Leo, like, the cards are really, even when I was doing your um, pre-shuffle to get your energy into the card, things were flying everywhere, man, like, seriously, like, Leo does have a lot to say today. The sun. Look at that. It's almost like happiness, success. Okay, that's where you're headed. Okay, thanks, Leo. Bye. <laughs> um, but I feel like um, it's it's kind of like you're trying to bring everything into alignment and um, a little bit like getting these birds together here. Like it's like these two pentacles. How do I get these to come together? And it's a bit like getting these birds to come together too. And, um, and it's just this feeling of getting things into alignment yeah um so what do we have next stuck in the mud okay so 
maybe the elephant has been stuck in the mud and see how the elephant's now lifting his foot he's starting to get it out well it could be a she i just say he because that's just what i'm doing right now anyway um so i feel like for you this could be the beginning of a new journey and here's the bird again traveling on his back but the bird's now facing the other way which is interesting. This could be you focusing on things from the past um, that you may need to get let go of that is keeping you stuck, holding on to old things that no longer serve you, okay, um, so that you can actually move forward. So that could be something that you focus on over the next two weeks, Leo. Okay. Um, the Knight of Wands. Okay, I feel like some of you are quite guarded, okay, um, oh, I almost got a frog in my throat then, um, and it could be about this change, because there, there could be a, you know, a bit of a, um, because it's almost like the elephant here is not in its, it, it's not where it should be. So I feel like there could be a bit of work for you to do in order to get to where you do need to be. Okay. Um, and, and maybe this is what you're heading towards. Maybe this is where you're heading towards. And it could potentially be that you're listening to the birds um, to be like, you know, where should I go? Um, but the fact of the matter is what you need to do is really tap inside and ask yourself where you need to go. It could be that um, there are people maybe trying to lead you in a certain direction and that's not where you want to go. Not in your heart of hearts anyway, Leo. So this could very well about being honest with yourself. Oh, did you see that fly out? I don't know if you caught that, but that was... Um, Two of Swords. Yeah, this is this. It, it's like this, really. It's just been stuck in the mud. Um, not being able to see ahead of you. Um, but I feel like you can easily remove this and see where it is you're going, but see his face is covered too, so maybe actually there's something you don't want to see. That could be the case, or it could be that you're not seeing something clearly, because you see how the bird is on top of the elephant here, and it's a bit higher, and it's facing that way, and, um, and maybe... It's been that you've focused on the mud for so long that you're not really seeing things very clearly. Solitude, reflection, going within. Yeah, just like this card, going within. Okay, but what I really like about this is there's no mud and maybe that's what's going to get you unstuck from the mud is this reflection and taking some time out um, just to go within okay and that's going to help that light to shine because that's a lighthouse right it's a lighthouse but the light is coming shining from without and not within so leo i feel as though then this is about you lighting your own light it's like using someone else's passion or what they want to do has been leading you along this way all the time and now you've gotten a bit stuck because it wasn't the path you wanted to go down to begin with does that make sense yeah and so it's a matter of kind of fixing up the lighthouse and um and having a look at at which way you want to go you know because you are um yeah, it's your journey. It's no one else's journey to be had. It's yours, okay? Um, we've got the Hierophant here, and we have the Page of Pentacles. 
and I feel like for some of you this could be that there's been a particular way of doing things for a really long time um, and it's kind of like this is the way that you're expected to hit if you like And I feel as though you need to teach your way, you, yourself a way of doing things differently. There's a new way to do things um, and it's going to take a while to turn that around, but it's definitely worth, it's definitely worth that. The Hierophant could also be about getting guidance from someone to help you um rebuild this lighthouse i feel like for some of you it could very well be um that you get some sort of like maybe a life coach or counsel counseling or something along those lines some kind of professional help yeah heal the ouch so it could very well be that it would be an idea to get some kind of counseling um at least at the very least, Leo, to pamper yourself, okay, to let somebody take care of you for a change because it's kind of like you've been taking care of everyone else or at least been letting everyone else lead the way with their path and now that you're stuck, you need some something put into you. It's like you kind of, it's like things are very imbalanced and it needs to be balanced out. Okay, and but this is definitely past hurts, um, you know, and maybe this is what this listening is, listening to you inside and what you need. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. You're very guarded. Some of you are very, very guarded. Um, and you're afraid to move forward. Um, you don't want to be seen. You are still focused on the past. This could be in love. It could be in anything. You can apply it to any area of your life. Okay, but you know, I do feel like with this Knight of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Cups, which honestly, I feel like you need real tender loving care. I really do. And this could be from a parent, from a mum, from a grandmother, from a partner. Um, I feel as though because the Queen of Pentacles, she's that person, right? She knows how to love. And she doesn't expect anything in return because she's already filled her own cup up. And I feel like that Queen of Pentacles could very well teach you how to give that to yourself. But she could be the one to heal your ouch. Okay. And it could very well be that there's a, um, a water sign in your life that could help you actually achieve that. Doesn't mean it has to be. Okay. But yeah, I, I do just feel like you have ha, kind of have to take that time and like with the solitude is saying, maybe that it's what that time is to repair yourself, right? To just kind of like, because it's like you've got these battle wounds in a sense that you need taken care of. Yeah, and I really feel like you need to give yourself that. You need to give that to yourself. Okay? <laughs> Crying. Because that will allow you to get out of this maze. It will allow you to get unstuck from the mud. Okay? Um, and you'll be able to jump on the psychedelic flying unicorn and rise up out of, you know, and be able to see clearly. Okay? 
um, that is definitely going to help you kind of like, because look at this horse here, how it's on the ground, right? That's kind of like, it's, it's a transformation. Sorry, I didn't even hold that up long enough for you to see. It's this transformation. And, and this is, you know, really rising that vibration, raising that vibration in order to make that transformation. The chariot. Yep. The chariot really um, allowing yourself to do that so that you can move forward away from this burden. Okay, Leo, I feel like you... Um, it's like you kind of need to give yourself permission to move forward. Okay, and this is absolutely something that if you do that for yourself, you're going to achieve it. You're going to be able to put these ones here down and, and move forward, okay? But at the same time, being able to still hold on to this passion that you have, even though you feel absolutely knackered, and um and defeated it's kind of like um this feeling of like oh i just can't i just can't do this anymore um but you have it in you because you still have this passion inside of you and it's like once you ignite that passion this is what the outcome will be right you'll turn into that psychedelic flying unicorn and phew, away you go um dragon's lair i feel like this is where you are right now to be honest with you leo i feel like or you feel like this is where you're trapped in um but also i want to say use your intuition this is really important for you to use your intuition to not um because it's kind of like there could be someone around you leo who's making something seem so appealing yeah, see how, okay, okay, Leo, so see, there could be someone actually giving you a story of, you know, let's do this, because it's going to be this amazing thing, and we're going to be like psychedelic flying unicorns, and then, not that I have anything against dragons, but it's like then you're flying, and you think, like, you're finding your way out of this mud, and, you know, you're, you're, you're flying out of the maze, and then all of a sudden, it's into this energy of doom doom, like you being absolutely had. It's like you've been misled, and you've been led into the dragon's lair, into the dragon's dungeon, and you're stuck behind the bars, and it's like, what the hell happened there? Like, that wasn't what was meant to happen right and and even you know someone who's like because i mean i think dragons are pretty cool don't get me wrong but i just feel like there's the sense of being misled okay and i feel like you know it's like come this way fly this way with me i'll take you to my castle and then waiting is this scary serpent it's like Oh my God, that wasn't what I was expecting. But I do want to say that there was something inside of you. There's something inside of you which is screaming at you. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. And for some of you feel like your hands are tied. Um, and I do want to say also, Leo, that if you take the time to go into the solitude and you heal the ouch, that is going to be easier for you to avoid um, or to really stand up and, 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 you know, stand your ground and go, nah, totally not happening. I'm not falling for this rubbish. And it could very well be for some of you, Leo, that that is what has happened and potentially this is what has caused this ouch, that you were misled and you were led to what you thought was going to be your happily ever after and it didn't turn out to be that at all. Okay, so Dragon's Lear, tell me more about this for Leo. Dragon's Lear, 
Tell me more about dragons, Leo for Leo, please. pause you so I can go and get that. Sorry about that Leo. Sometimes they just go flying, you know. <laughs> um, so we have the Queen of Wands. Um, honestly Leo, I feel like this Queen, you know, we've had the Queen of Cups wherever she's gone. It's all getting messy here as pure usual. Um, here we go. Here she is here, right? She's helping you heal the ouch. And then we have the Queen of Wands who is helping you to ignite this wand here to ignite your passion okay um and this is cause for celebration okay i absolutely love this i feel like these two here are going to assist you leo in helping you fill your cup you know the and and this is going to be cause for celebration a hundred percent. This is really, really cool. Okay, what else have we got here? One ring circus. One ring circus. This is the elephant again, standing on the rock here. Look, he's got himself unstuck. He's even got some decoration on him. But he's surrounded by water on this. You know, this could be you just creating what it is that you want to create. You know, it doesn't look like this anymore. This is what I want to head towards. This is what it looks like for me. Because again, there's this new beginning, right? Um, this is about you creating what it is you want to create for you. And it's a one ring circus. Ten of pentacles. Look, this is headed towards this. This is what your aim is. This is what you're heading towards. Right, this is kind of you create, recreating you in order to get to where you want to go. Um, and I really, really love this. And I love that you've got these two queens here who are willing to stand by your side and help you along this journey. Like, this is super cool, man. Um... Too many cards. Ten of Pentacles. So cool. Definitely like getting the stability, like coming out of that mud and getting onto stable ground. Okay. And um, and I kind of see that the water is a little bit rough, but that's because there's still these emotions that need to be healed. And you know, emotions are always evolving. They're, they're always moving, right? They're, they're energy in motion, pretty much, yeah? So this is, oh my gosh. Well, we've had two cards fall down there. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, this is about you becoming unstuck out of this... Um, this energy here you um kind of taking you you know like this is this is self-imposed right because if she could just take this blindfold off um then she would absolutely see that she's not stuck right this is here this is still the beginning of this blindfold and she's at the eight of swords now and she's still got the blindfold on okay so this is really about you making that turn around okay and we have the world this is leading to happiness and success for sure like how can we even not have that with the ten of pentacles there um but compass oh my nose sorry compass this is you choosing your direction i feel okay getting unstuck out of this so that you can see what direction you actually want to go in here leo um, some of you may not be too sure of that, so this could be something, you know, with this healing, as you're doing this healing, what is it that you want to head towards, and really, really looking into that, and, and seriously considering what it is that you want to head towards, and who you want to take with you, 
you know, this could be the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Some of you may very well be needing to choose between two people. That's a possibility. And maybe you need to take some time out to actually do that. Yeah, because here we have the Four of Wands and the Star. So... Just with the compass card here, it does make me wonder if you're trying to decide which direction to go in, in regards to two people. It could also be a direction in any area of your life, particularly in your work, okay? But ultimately, what you want to head towards is creating a stable future and a happy home for yourself and your family, okay? It's kind of like that's what that long-term goal is, okay? And... I feel like this healing that you can do here is going to lead to better times for you. That is absolutely the direction that you need to be going in right now. Okay, because you have this idea of where you want to end up, but it's really focusing on the journey right now as to how it is that you need to get there because you can't you can't skip it. Okay, and... Um, Otherwise, that's going to keep you stuck in that mud, okay? And really setting an intention. What is it that, you know, this is this wish, right? What, what, do, you, what do you wish for? Really focusing on that and seeing what, what, you know, whatever it is that you wish for, Leo, what is your intention behind that, okay? Because it's kind of like, the egg has been birthed and what do you want that to hatch into how do you want to grow that okay and really tapping into this inner wisdom really tapping in to your inner self to to hear and to see and to using all your senses to to hear you Okay, not what everyone else says you should do or what they want to do, but you. Okay. Sorry. Hang on. Do we have two cards there? Yep. Two cards here. I thought it was a heap of cards and it turned out to be two. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Yep. The beginning of building something really really stable okay um and and something that's going to be successful right because yeah this is definitely what you want to head towards and this is the beginning of that okay what does that look like focusing on that and making a decision okay make and, and it's going to take time and it's going to be a journey but in order to make that successful getting the healing done and healing the ouch so that you can actually head towards that. And then we have the Hermit. And this, Leo, is really about using, again, it's about using that intuition. But it is also about, like, um, this inner wisdom that you have, which I love that that's come up with the owl here because you do have that inner wisdom and I don't really feel like some of you actually believe that you do it's kind of like oh, that's not really you know you, you kind of like want to have that but you don't believe that you're capable of that um, and I feel as though you so long as you've got this blindfold on and this blindfold could very well be Leo um, not seeing the truth of who you are, which is really this hermit who is this, he uses his internal guidance system to lead him along the path. He doesn't rely on anyone else to do that. He uses his internal light to guide him, okay? He knows how to fix up the uh, lighthouse in order to guide his way, okay? So I feel as though that this is something that you need to work on, Leo, in order for you to head towards this happiness, this world that you want to create, okay? 
um, because you have, absolutely have the ability to do that. Um, I feel like it's just a matter of having faith in yourself. Okay, Leo. Excellent. Right, Leo. Um, please subscribe and like and share and do all that wonderful stuff um, because this might just help other people along their journey and their life. Okay. And if this didn't hit for you, Go and have a look at your other placements and see um, exactly, you know, what is going on there because there might be messages there that do resonate for you. Okay, Leo, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.